microphone kind of on the way. I just didn't know. Uh, we should have had the external mic, which we do right now. And so the sound should be okay, even though we've got the air conditioner going. Is there people coming in? Um, so anyway, I wanted to kind of go over uh, what Chris and I were talking about at the Amana booth yesterday. So, and some of you guys were chiming in and asking questions, so some of you could kind of hear some of it. But basically what it is, if you guys, because we only carry, you know, we only stock, I think, six different bits that Amana actually makes. But if you guys have a need for a round over or a Roman OG or a big flattening bit or they've got like 10,000 different bits. If you guys want to go to amanatool.com and you want some other bit that we don't carry, um, we can actually get it for you. And then I will call Chris and he will drop ship it directly to you. So it's just kind of a, and it, uh, we're talking about one bit at a time. You don't have to do, um, you know, multiple bits. So if you guys, who? Matt. Matt Bay? Matt, Bruce Peter. Hey guys. Um, so hopefully the sound is a little bit better today than it was yesterday at the show. Um, but that being said, if you guys need some other bits that Amana makes, you can go to amanatool.com and see all their router bits. If you guys need something there, I probably will be able to get you a little bit better price than, uh, than what you can get normally at some other uh, dealer since we are a dealer and a Amana dealer now. So Chris was nice enough. That's not something that they normally do, but he was nice enough to offer that. Uh, does that bother you when I do that? He was uh, nice enough to offer that um, that service uh, for our for our people. So if you guys have any questions, you can email me. If you have any questions right now, I'd be happy to answer any questions. I know it's kind of an odd time. You guys are probably like settling in for the weekend probably out at the lake or doing your weekend saturday thing so um this is just kind of a real quick follow-up uh to the videos that we did yesterday so you see any comments or questions or anything in there okay so anyway just a real quick one uh thanks again to chris and the guys That's over the at website uh amanatool.com just like it sounds, not Amanda, but amanatool.com. Watch the autocorrect because it'll try to spell Amanda. Um, but Amanda Tool, singular. You said Amanda Tool. Huh? You just said Did Amanda I say Amanda Tool? tool? Yeah. <laughs> See? Autocorrect. Um, anyway, amanatool.com. And they have tons of stuff. So, And there's actually something that I want to share on a video coming up very soon about those tools too another really cool feature uh, anyway I guess that's about it if you guys don't have any specific questions I know this is probably a bad time you guys will all probably see this way after uh, we broadcast it but just thought I'd get on here and clarify a little bit much a little bit about what uh, will you be putting bit. the link in the description actually the link is in the description of the video that we did yesterday but I'll also so put it in the description here as well. So, um, yes, it will be in the description. As soon as this processes and it goes up live, I'll go in and edit it and put the link in the description of this video. So, yes. Uh, what else? Gosh, there was something else. Yeah, uh, Monday's video will be the final part of the carving those airplanes in that piece of spalted pecan for Andrew, my friend. Have you guys home completely, I switched, I'm assuming it means switched completely over to Amana bits. Yes, we have switched completely over to Amana bits. All of our bits are Amana bits now. Um, I think there's six of them, if I remember right, six or seven of them. But yes, everything is now Amana bits. And uh, I like them much better better than what I was using before. So, uh, any other questions? Bring it, or uh, you guys can get on with your Saturday afternoon slash evening. Uh, East Coast is under uh, heated budget. Yeah. Uh, Gary, I was talking to Chris about that. 
I don't necessarily have a, a starting kit, so to speak, because honestly, we sell them at kind of rock bottom prices of what we can afford. But generally, a kit like that, the reason for that would be to discount, be able to discount. And unfortunately, we just we don't make very much on them right now as it is. So we don't really have a kit. I have a recommendation of the profile, the 60 and the 90. About 90% 90 of all of my carving is done with those three bits. If you're starting now, um, if you had to pick just one bit, I would say the 60. Um, if those three bits, though, the profile, the 60 and the 90, I do, again, almost all of my carving with those three bits. Matt Bay wants to know what's the best thing you saw at the show. The best thing I saw at the show, um, you know, uh, I know what the best thing I saw. Yeah, yeah. Vicky saw a, 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 Chris, a future Christmas gift, depending on how much stuff we sell. She saw. Go ahead. No, you. She saw um, basically a flattening sled that was automatic. It was a router sled, and it was um, must have been about 10, 12 foot long. Uh, it probably would take a four foot by eight foot sled or longer, slab. and slab. And uh, it, it actually flattened and sanded at the same time. It was really cool. It was uh, Something. Wood Whiz. Wood Whiz, Wood Whiz yeah. was the one. That was Vicky's favorite. You know, um, I saw some really cool stuff. Uh, something that I we're really going to look into is um, a hot glue gun that actually comes in uh, a lot of different colors. So it can be used as fill in, uh, in sled, uh, slabs and knots and I really want to I want to dive into that a little bit more and we talked to the representative there and uh, maybe doing some stuff with them um, Matt, Matt, Cremona. Matt Cremona probably was the highlight for me just hanging out with him for a little while and uh, he actually it was weird I didn't realize that he knew who I was from way back when he's a big Gary V fan and he saw me and Dad on Gary V 189 when we were on uh, the Ask Gary V show, and uh, Matt actually saw us on there before I reached out to him to uh, make a sign for him. So that was pretty cool. That was really neat. But Matt's a super good guy, really a neat guy. So had uh, just Mark. Mark left just before we got there. But, um, Mark the Wood Whisperer, Mark Spagnolo. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, anyway, it was just a great time. Uh, this was the first time that we'd ever gone to something like this where Vicky, where we were walking around and I had to stop, uh, you know, stop and, and wait for Vicky because she was stopping at all the booths. Uh, she saw something she really liked, the gripper. She really liked the gripper. She's always been really scared of the table saw. And uh, the guys over at the, the gripper, and you got micro, micro jig gripper, you guys know what that is. Anyway, um, I think she was pretty impressed with that, that that may, you know, uh, encourage her to use the table saw. So uh, it's a pretty cool tool. We don't have one right now, but I've heard really good things about them. So, and, huh? We don't have the micro, micro uh, jig gripper. Um, another thing that I may do too is Matt was, I was talking to Matt about the Triton tools, and I may get a Triton uh, sander. Um, they've got a little sander about the size of my little Porter Cable armadillo. And um, my armadillo, it, it feels like it's starting to go a little bit. That's a Porter Cable, a little 2.5 by 14 or something like that. It feels like it's starting to go. So I may try one of those uh, little Triton ones. It, it feels like it's about the same size. And uh, I hear it's a pretty decent tool. So I may give that a try. All right, that is it, you guys. Um, Again, questions, email me, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Again, sorry for the sound problems yesterday. It was we, so loud in there. It was, it was incredibly it loud. Mic, I, think it, I think it still would have worked because we're getting a, um, a lavalier mar mic for the iPhone, for the iPad, and I think that um, that's going to solve our issues, I hope. Um, anyway, we'll see. But... Um, we did the best we could with what we had at the time. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for all the support, the love. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. And uh, Monday's video will be, um, again, carving those airplanes on that slab. That'll be the last one. So you'll see that thing uh, completely 
finished as far as my part of it. Andrew's working on it as we speak. So hopefully when we get uh, when he gets pictures to me, I will get them to you. Anyway, guys, love you all. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye.